Now in its ninth year, the annual New Zealand Improv Festival is back, performing at Bat Theatre in Wellington. There are 16 shows across five days featuring both local and international improvisers. Stephen Lyons is one of ours, and he is here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Stephen. Hello. <laughs> yes, we own you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to get back on focus because we've just been spending it like the last few, you know, off air talking about our Fitbits and things. Um, now, improv, what is it and why do you like it? What, what is imp improv or improvisation or stage improvisation? is basically any piece of theatre where we don't have a script. So sometimes you'll have nothing, sometimes you'll have structures in place where you're, you know, like jazz improvisation, you know, yeah. you kind of know where you're flowing um, and you understand some of the things, but it's, uh, it's improvisation is no script. We are there, we're present with you. Um, and one of the reasons I absolutely love it is because it's, it's about connections. There's three connections. You and your performers, yeah. you and the audience, and you and yourself. So it's that wonderful thing of like, how do you connect and what do you discover in yourself? That would terrify me. Well, no, you're right, but I was me. just thinking, I guess you don't have to learn lines. <laughs> so uh, you say I don't have to, but yes. I also get to not learn lines. Ah. So it's a, it's a bonus. <laughs> um, if you have a, a little bit of a, a wonderful brain like mine, which is not, not in its best shape, uh, <laughs> it's wonderful because, yeah, you turn up and you're free and uh, they're very different nerves. Mm. You know, scripted theatre, sometimes people get nervous about lines. Improv theatre, you get nervous about no lines. Well, right. I mean, yeah, what's going to happen? But yes, the, you're in control. The thing with the improv, though, is we expect it to be funny as well. Do you have those moments, though? Because I find just in general day conversation, I forget words. I forget really basic words sometimes that I'm trying to speak. And I think you'll find the people around you find that very funny. <laughs> <laughs> so you're OK. <laughs> Okay, so what, what are we going to expect from this improv festival? The, uh, so this is my first time going down to Wellington uh, and being at the festival, which is very exciting for me. And the great thing to, about it is ex expect the unexpected. So oh. they have, um, we have directors and performers coming from all over the world, from France, from the United States, from Japan, from Australia, wow. even all the way from New Zealand, yeah. uh, making their way to Wellington. And uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of different shows. And I honestly don't know what to expect, except that people are going to be there, they're going to be connected, they're going to be raw and exciting. Um, so that's kind of... So do you have it like, do you have like, just for example, you're all on stage, do you get ideas from the audience sometimes? I mean, how does it work? So every uh, improv is exciting for me because there's many different formats or styles of improv. So the most commonly known one is whose line is it anyway? Yes. Which is a short form of improv. So, you know, we get, oh, we do short scenes and we get suggestions from the audience. And then there's longer forms of improv where we might get one suggestion from an audience and then do an improvised play. Yeah, and then there's other ones where you might get uh, suggestions throughout or you might interact with the audience in different ways. And one of the really cool things about this festival is we have some directors who are coming and doing brand new formats that we have no idea. There's one which I believe uh, hashtag uh, or hashtag hashtag uh, as, I, <laughs> as I like to pronounce it, but it's going to be based off suggestions from social media wow. during the show. So uh, there's a whole bunch of different oh, ways that dangerous. it can work. I guess the great thing with improv is that, you know, you could go on to be a successful businessman, you could go on to do anything. Because Please. the art of... <laughs> Please, how do I do that? <laughs> the art of conversation. And you nail it all the time. Uh, well, not all the time. Right, but so the, but the, the, the joy of it is that when you don't nail it, you're okay with that. Right. And that's the biggest difference is that, uh, and that's why, uh, you know, I used to do a lot of corporate training mm. because the biggest thing is when people worry and they clam up and they go, ah. Yeah, right. Uh, exactly. You get that fear in your the eyes. The fear, and we're human, so we all know that fear and we want to destroy that person. Uh, oh, you're afraid. Ah. I'm but we, get you. <laughs> <laughs> but we love it when people recover or when they uh, yep. find joy in that. Mm. It's that moment in a massive big thing where someone just accepts that they're human and goes, that did not go the way I thought it would. Uh, do you use this in your day job, which is uh, you're the warm-up guy for the project? I am, yeah, constantly. This is That's almost all of what I do. Right. Uh, in fact, anyone who's been to the project will see me with a piece of paper with the four pieces of information I need to know on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the rest of it is us hanging out and uh, having a good time. Well, yeah, I encourage everyone to go to see this festival because I love improv. I really do. I think it's brilliant. So well done. Thanks for being here. Thank also, you I'd love yeah. to see Mike do improv because oh, I reckon yeah, yeah. I could probably now you on that one. Uh, the New Zealand Improv Fest runs from this Saturday 14th of October until 21st of October in Wellington. You can go to the Bats Theatre website for tickets.